now as we have assigned all the loads to our footing what we'll do is we will now run our analysis but before that we will add design strips so for that go to edit and here you can see edit or uh, add or edit design strips and add design strips or what you can do is uh, you can see here in quick draw section there is uh, draw design strips click here and uh, here is a strip layer A and B both here and the width are given here is so my uh, dimension is 3.2 by 3.2 so I will be doing it half and giving its width as uh, 1.6 1.6 meter 1.6 meter 1.6 meter and 1.6 meter okay so click here and click this midpoint similarly we will do for um, y direction that is layer b so click this midpoint and this midpoint okay so now we have drawn our design strips or you could have done from here also in edit design strips and add design strips here you can see uh, auto and now we will run our analysis so just go to run and run analysis you can do from here or you can just run analysis from here also but before that save your model and as i have already saved i didn't get the option there so i have saved my model already now we'll go to display and we'll have some checks so first show the form shape and here select the load combination and the service load okay apply and close as you can see uh, the deformed shape here the maximum value is uh, minus 8.94 and the minimum is minus 9.90 so ignore the negative sign and take the maximum numerical value that is 9.9 .9 here but our allowable is 25 so it's okay now go to display uh, that is okay in settlement and so reaction forces in load combination service load only and here the soil pressure apply and close as you can see the maximum value is 134.23 and the minimum value is 148.63 and our allowable bearing pressure is 150 kN per square meter so it is safe in bearing capacity bearing pressure also and now we will see the shearing punch okay so for that we will go to display and show punching shear you can see the punching shear here is 1.0381 so it has been failed here the punching shear should always be less than 1 okay so for that what should we do now we would uh, increase the depth of our that we should increase now the thickness of our footing so first uh, delete the analysis and go to define and here in slab properties uh, select the footing slab first so modify property and here we will give the thickness as 480 okay and for column slab also so modify property and give the property as uh, 100 sorry 480 thickness okay now again run the analysis yes and now let's go to display and here show punching shear design you can see the punching shear design is now 0 0.9176 uh, it is less than one so it is safe now uh, we are getting this much value because the force was greater okay uh, basically it is uh, not the biggest value you will be getting success in your first trial only because my load was very large so i'm getting the larger value but it is now less than one so it is safe now so in this way i had done my checks that is the check for my settlement uh, check for my allowable bearing pressure and the check for punching shear and in the next video we will be doing detailing of the footing slab that is the reinforcement detailing so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you